So the next thing we're gonna do is clean off the battery contacts. I'm gonna be using my Dremel tool with a diamond uh, grinding bit. And uh, remember, if you do not own a Dremel tool, you can uh, also use sandpaper and it should, should do the same. So let's, uh, let's bust off this corrosion. Now that we've cleaned off the battery contacts, we'll be popping them back into the Nintendo Game Boy case. Now, uh, two of them go on the bottom and two of them go on the top. Now, to figure out which ones go on the bottom and which one goes on the top, if you look really closely here, you'll see that if you have the notches facing forward, there are two on the left hand side. And if you look at the other one, the notch is in the upper right hand corner. The one with the notch in the upper right hand corner, as long as the notch is facing forward, that one is going on the top and the other two are going on the bottom. Now before popping them in, you want to take this little tab on the back and bend it up so that it'll stay inside the Game Boy when uh, you install it again. So with the notch facing forward, we're going we're gonna to push them in. Should have a nice reassuring click when they pop in. And the last one. So you have successfully cleaned off the battery contact terminals and you shouldn't have any issues with uh, with uh, powering the Game Boy from the batteries. So the next thing that we'll be doing is we'll be drilling into the front of the Game Boy case in the upper right hand corner to accept the um, RCA panel mount jacks. Now panel mount jacks, uh, they'll be coming with the, um, the jack itself and uh, this particular uh, RCA jacks, uh, they came with a lock washer, a negative tab, as well as a nut. So we'll be drilling into the case. Uh, the panel mount jacks, the RCA jacks, I found that all the ones that I've used, uh, you'll have to drill a hole about um, one quarter of an inch in diameter. So you'll be using a one fourth uh, inch drill bit. This is a quarter inch drill bit. What you'll want to do is you want to start out with a smaller drill bit. I like to use a 1 16th drill bit and work my way up. I'll be jumping from a 1 16th drill bit to a 9 64th inch drill bit. Then I'll be going up to a 13th 64th drill bit. And then finally I'll be ending uh, the drilling with a quarter inch drill bit. Now you'll be wanting to push the lock washer as far forward as possible on the back side of the front front case of the Game Boy because if you drill your hole too far back uh, in the front of the case at the top you're going to run into issues with this little tab at the end of the RCA jack hitting the front of the PCB and you'll be having grounding issues. So we'll be using the washer, the lock washer on the inside of the Game Boy and we'll be making marks with our drill bit into the outer case of the Game Boy and we'll be moving the lock washer over and we'll be marking the second area that we'll be drilling into. Okay, so after you've done that, uh, it should look similar to this. You'll be making little marks into the case so that you'll be having a reference point of where to drill into. So let's start drilling. done drilling you should have something similar to this at the top of your Game Boy and we're gonna be installing the RCA jacks into the case to make sure they all fit well. So this is what it should look like after you are done installing the RCA jacks into the front case of the DMG01 Game Boy. For the ends of the RCA jacks make sure they are facing forward as not to interfere with the circuit board when you reinstall it into the front of the case. The next thing that we'll want to do is we'll want to drill the lower left hand portion of the case for this rubber grommet piece that we'll be attaching to the end of our quarter inch stereo jack cable. When we open up the Game Boy case, for the back of the case, we'll see, we see that we have a large battery compartment as well as the end of the 
Game Boy case, what we'll want to do is we'll want to get as close to center of this as possible as not to interfere with the battery compartment or with the edge of the case. So what you'll want to do is you'll want to kind of mark that end of the case, say scratch it or use a sharpie or something just to mark it so that we know where the center line is roughly. After you do that, we'll put the case back together. We'll put the six tri-wing screws back in so that uh, the case doesn't come apart when we try to drill. So now that we have our case put back together, we're gonna be drilling using the smallest drill bit to start out with on the lower left hand portion of the Game Boy case. And what we'll wanna do is we'll wanna try to get as, uh, as centered up on the crease as possible when we drill. Now that we're done with uh, using the quarter inch drill bit to drill into the case, the rubber grommet piece, uh, the center portion where it's going to be grasping around is slightly larger than a quarter inch so we'll be using our Dremel tool to be um, boring it out a little more. If you do not own a, own a Dremel, you can also use uh, the drill again and bore out the hole some more. Say when you're fitting anything inside the case and you need to cut out portions of the case, make tiny, tiny cuts and make sure to test fit often. So after you're done boring out the section in the lower left hand portion of the Nintendo Game Boy, the grommet should fit nice and snug. And there you go. Congratulations, you have completed part one of part five of the series on how to modify your DMG-01 Game Boy for chiptune music production. A very big shout out to Ryan Ginther of Wichita, Kansas, a fellow chiptune artist. He is currently working on his new album. He has a demo available on Bandcamp, which I will link in the description below. I am really impressed by his song, Roll Out. I suggest everyone go check it out. Stay tuned for part two when I go over backlighting using an ASM Electronics Triforce LED backlight, which you can purchase off of Kitchbent. That concludes this video. Thank you very much for watching, and remember, go out there and do great things. <laughs>